Hey, this is O Snap Klein bringing you a basics and fundamental guide for ice climbers on Smash Bros Ultimate. If you enjoyed this guide or learned something, please leave a subscribe and hit that notification bell. I also stream every Wednesday to Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, so definitely check that out as well. Before we start this guide, I would just like to get this out of the way that the Ice Claimers have a broken recovery. Up B is not only unreliable, it is also very glitchy, so don't count on it too much. Ice Climbers have a very strong jab in Ultimate, and is very useful on shield to stuff grabs if your opponent likes to shield grab a lot, as well as it just being high damage move overall, around 13%. Be sure to throw your jabs out at random intervals in order to throw your opponent off, especially if they like dropping shield a lot. Since Ice Climbers is two characters, they get four hits out of two hit jab. Simply dash up to your opponent and during the stop animation of your dash, jab, and quickly desync the other Ice Climber with down B to freeze your opponent, leading into a free up tilt, jump into up air. Dash attack is pretty standard for punishing poor landings and recoveries of your opponent, as well as a quick mix-up tool on the opponent's shield. It does cross up, but you have to space and time it correctly. Down tilt is a really useful tool for Ice Climber. It's unsafe on shield if not spaced correctly, but has great shield poke potential. It can also send your opponent off stage at a very low vertical angle, and is an easy way to gimp opponents that have poor recovery. Side tilt can be skid cancelled and is a great tool for checking your opponent and their approach. To start on your opponent's shield because you can mix it up with down tilts and jabs to punish your opponent for dropping shield. Up tilt is a great tool that can be skid cancelled into your opponent, does decent damage and can lead into up airs. Up tilt is also a really great tool to use if you think your opponent is going to mash out of your freeze. If your opponent dodge rolls a lot, a preemptive up tilt is a really good tool for stuffing those out. Neutral air is one of Icy's faster aerials. It is relatively safe on shield, has a decent active hitbox, and also crosses up your opponent. Neutral Air is also really good at anti-airing your opponent if they like to jump at a shield. Forward Air is one of Icy's main wallout tools. Primarily used for damage and spacing, Forward Air is really good at keeping your opponent in check since it's safe on shield when you space away with it. But be sure to practice the timing and spacing on Forward Air because it can whiff sometimes. Forward air can also spike out of down throw with the second ice climber. The hitbox looks like this, but be careful because sometimes the double hit on forward air can ruin the spike effect. Ice climber's back air is very quick. It tends to be pretty tricky though because it's on the smaller side. So be sure to really practice with this aerial because it can lead into early kills off the side of the stage. Since back air tends to be a really good kill option for ice climbers, I highly recommend practicing your reverse aerial back airs. Up air is one of ice climbers biggest damage builders. It's a great move to use after up tilt, and it can make it very hard for your opponent to get back to stage. Never let your opponent recover for free. The side hitboxes on up air tend to be pretty terrible, so don't really worry about them. Also up air tends to be a really good kill tool when you're higher to the blast ceiling. Down air on ice climbers is somewhat of an interesting move. If used correctly, down air can be difficult for your opponent to punish. It has a slight disjoint and tangibility on weaker attacks, as well as taking out weaker projectiles. Down smash was toned down from earlier iterations of ice climbers, but is still a useful move. It's not safe on shield in front of ice climbers, but if your opponent likes to shield grab a lot, it's actually safe from behind. It's a very easy smash attack to DI as well, and doesn't kill until much later percents on most characters. Keep in mind though, Ridley is a heavy, and this move will kill on lighter opponents much sooner. Forward smash is a powerhouse of a smash attack. 
It boasts decent recovery and kill power. Though risky, it is a good tool for punishing opponents that try to approach. There's very little sour spot on the move and it kills very early. You can get a quick forward smash out of dash by simply inputting back on your control stick, forward again, and then A to get the smash attack. It comes in handy when you need to quickly lay down the hurt. Up smash hits in front of ice climbers and behind them. It also is a really good tool for punishing moves that are unsafe on shield, both behind and in front of ice climbers. Keep in mind though, if this move is shielded, it is not safe in front, but if your opponent likes to shield grab, it is pretty safe behind it. Neutral B is a great projectile for aggravating your opponent and stuffing out their approach since it does have a little bit of hit stop. Though keep in mind that this move can be attacked and reflected on the Ice Climbers and damage them instead. There is a super rare chance for the Neutral B to freeze your opponent in place, allowing you to close the gap onto your opponent. And due to the hit stop on Neutral B, it is a very good way to gimp the recovery of your opponent and make sure they don't get back to stage. You can also desync the Ice Climbers on platforms on stages such as Battlefield and use Neutral B to make it hard for your opponent to approach. Neutral B is an amazing tool for aggravating your opponents and conditioning them into habits that are easily punishable. Ice Climbers Down B is a short range, multi-hitting projectile that freezes your opponent in place, allowing you to lead into more setups for damage. The higher your opponent's percentage, the quicker they will freeze and the longer they will stay frozen. Keep in mind though, your opponent can mash out of their frozen state and DI to the left or right. So it pays to practice the timing and when your opponent will break out of ice. Landing on your opponent's shield with down B creates a lot of pressure, good amount of shield damage, and can sometimes shield poke. It can be safe on a lot of characters as well because it has a lot of pushback. Side B is a very fast multi-hitting move that has intangibility to weaker projectiles. Though this move gets stuffed out by multi-hitting projectiles and attacks, especially disjoints. The faster you mash side B, the higher you will go in the air. Keep in mind though, side B does not allow you to clamp to ledge and you will die immediately. You can also use side B as a mix-up tool if your opponent is on the side of the ledge and tends to shield poke a lot, on, especially on bigger characters. Since side B puts you in free fall, it can be very dangerous off the stage and get you killed. To avoid falling off of platforms or the stage, simply input side B once and leave it alone. Side B is really good at catching the enemy that likes to sprint or dodge roll away. Up B tends to be a better move for taking stocks than recovery. I wish I was kidding. It's very risky and leaves ice climbers open for a really long time, so use it with caution. It also hits from behind, but I don't know how useful that is. Especially since most characters can crouch underneath this. Most people that know how to play against Ice Climbers don't waste their time going for grabs. As it's very easy to grab the second Ice Climber and get punished for it. Especially if the Ice Climber is very tricky with his movement. Ice Climbers can also buffer a forward smash right before getting grabbed and punish you for it, due to how the hurt box shifting works on forward smash. Some characters can accidentally grab the second ice climber, or the second ice climber can hit you with a smash attack right before you go for the grab. The days of wobbling are gone, and ice climber's grab is very toned down in its ultimate iteration. But grabs are also still very important to ice climber because they lead into setups and follow up attacks. A low percent down throw is your go-to grab on Ice Climbers because it can lead into neutral air or forward air. The neutral air at low percents is, tends to be true while forward air is usually a follow-up. Opponents can't DI too far out of up throw and is usually followed with up air. Dashing up after back throw is a great way of testing your opponent and the defensive options they like to use. Ice Climber's grab hitbox is pretty average. The dash grab comes out very quick, but also tends to have a lot more recovery than the other grabs. So one way to circumvent this is to cancel your dash grab into a stand grab. In order to do this, you simply dash and then roll your control stick down when you grab in order to cancel it into a standing neutral grab. 
Ice Climbers are a high-risk, high-reward character that focus on walling out their opponents and constantly pressuring their shield. In the right hands, Ice Climbers can be a very slippery character, utilizing their desyncs in order to trick their opponents into thinking something is safe. Ice Climbers are very explosive, but the downside to this is that they kind of lack range and have somewhat of a hard time opening up their opponents. Mind games are very important to Ice Climbers. Your explosive nature creates fear in your opponent, while your ranged options can frustrate your opponent. It is very important to figure out early in a match how to best condition your opponent into habits and tendencies in order to seal stocks. Ice Climbers do not have the greatest recovery in the world. There's a price to pay for all that power. Ice Climbers also tend to be on the slower side of characters in the roster, so utilizing your entire toolkit is necessary for these characters. I suggest new players first figure out the best movement options for Ice Climbers before anything else. Offensively, Ice Climbers' best route is to pressure opponent's shield with down B and safely space tilt attacks into mix-ups in order to get their opponent to drop their shield at the worst time and get punished for it. Three, two, one, go! 